So, the based on the values of uh, the way I have explained the random variable or the stochastic process is going to be x of w comma t, where w is belonging to omega and uh, t is belonging to capital T. There are two approaches can define the stochastic process. The first one that is a we name it as a case 1, I can say it as the collection of random variable as a family, family of random variables. as a x dot t where t is belonging to um, t is belonging to capital T. So, this is the way I can create the random variable and this is the easier easier approach in the sense once I know the different t for fixed t it is going to be a one random variable and I have collected a family of random variable for different values of small t. Therefore, this is the way we can create uh, the stochastic process the, and this is the easier approach also. The next one that is a case 2 that is nothing but as a set of functions on capital T that is nothing but a collection of x w comma for w is belonging to omega. That means, uh, I have made a function on capital T and once I fix one w, I will have a one function and if I fix another w where w is nothing but a possible outcomes. Therefore, if I have a different possible outcome that is going to be create a different stochastic process. There are therefore, I can create a stochastic process of a x of w comma t either fixing a t or fixing the w accordingly I can have a two different ways of creating a stochastic process. And the case 2 the way I have made a collection of random variable by fixing the w then I made a function of functions on t. Therefore, this is going to be the method of realization of the process or it is going to be call it as a trajectory. or it can be call it as a sample path or it can be call it as a sample function also. So, these are all the different ways the case 2 can be called that means, uh, once you know the uh, one possible outcomes therefore, uh, you are tracing the stochastic process along the one possible outcomes. Therefore, that is going to be called as a realization of the process or the trajectory or the sample path. So, the conclusion is uh, you can always define a stochastic process uh, as a collection of a random variable for different value of a t or you can go for a collection of a functions on t for a different values of the possible values of uh, possible uh, possible outcomes that is a w belonging to omega. So, these are all the two approaches can create the stochastic process. Not only we can go for making a one dimensional random variable or one dimensional stochastic process. So, you can create a stochastic process it could be a one dimensional or it could be a two dimensional or it could be a n dimensional also. So, first we have discussed what is stochastic process and how to create the stochastic process whether it exists and so on. Then we have given the parameter space and the state space. Then we have given then we have given what are all the ways we can create the two different approaches you can create the stochastic process. Now, we are discussing what is the dimension of the stochastic process. So, either the default it could be a one dimensional or it could be a two dimensional or it could be a n dimensional. Let me give a one simple example in which it is going to be a two dimensional. That means, I have a random variable x of t that is going to be a x 1 of t comma x 2 of t in which x 1 of t is nothing but the maximum 
temperature and the x 2 of t could be minimum temperature. The maximum and minimum temperature possible of a uh, place at any time t and this uh, together is going to be a one random variable that means uh, this is a random vector which consists of uh, two random variables x 1 of t and x 2 of t that means for x for fixed t you have a one random vector x of t and therefore you have a random vector for over the t and this random vector will form a stochastic process therefore this is going to be a two dimensional stochastic process therefore in general you can define a n dimensional stochastic process with uh, for fixed for every t you have a random vector x of t that is going to be a x1 of t comma x2 of t and so on it is going to be the nth element is x n of t that is going to be a n tuple in which each one is going to be a random variable for fixed t and this is going to be a random vector for fixed t and this is going to be a n dimensional stochastic process in which each one is going to be a one dimensional random variable for fixed t. So, that means, uh, you can go for making a one dimensional random variable then you have a collection of random variable form a one dimensional stochastic process or you can have a two dimensional like that you can have a n dimensional stochastic process. In the course what we are going to discuss always uh, it is a one dimensional stochastic process. We can always uh, create a complex valued uh, stochastic process also in the form of x of t let me define it here the x of t is going to be x 1 of t plus i times x 2 of t where i is nothing but the complex quantity square root of minus 1. That means uh, the x 1 of t is a real valued uh, random variable for fixed t and the x 2 of t is also a real valued random variable for fixed t. The way I have made it uh, the x of t this is going to be a complex valued random variable for fixed t. Therefore, the x of t over the t that is going to be form a complex valued stochastic process because for fixed t x of t is going to be a complex valued random variable the corresponding stochastic process is called a complex valued a stochastic process in the one dimensional form. Like that you can go for the multi dimensional complex valued a stochastic process also, but in this course we are what we are discussing only the real valued a one dimensional random variable most of the times sometimes we are discussing real valued a two dimensional or n dimensional stochastic process that too with the real valued uh, random variable not the complex valued. So, now we are going for classification of a stochastic process. The way I have uh, explained uh, the parameter space uh, capital T, the capital T is a parameter space and capital S is going to be the state space that is nothing but the collection of uh, possible values of x of t and the possible values of a uh, small t belonging to capital T that form a parameter space. Some books they use the notation parameter set also and uh, capital S is going to be the state space. Now, based on this we are going to classify we are going to classify the stochastic process suppose let us start with the capital S suppose the possible values of s yes and what is the name of the stochastic process if if s yes is going to take the only countably infinite or countably finite values then it is going to be call it as the corresponding stochastic process is going to be call it as a integer valued stochastic process or we can call it as a discrete state stochastic process. 
So, whenever the possible values of s is going to be a countably finite or countably infinite, then we say it is an integer valued stochastic process or a discrete state stochastic process. Suppose the possible values of s is going to be the real values, then we call it as a real valued stochastic process. Suppose, if it takes a Euclidean space with the k dimensional Euclidean Euclidean k dimensional space, then we call it as a k dimension k vector space k vector stochastic process. That means, uh, the each random variable going to have a one dimensional random variable and like that you have a k, k, k random variables uh, for fixed t. Therefore, you have a uh, you have a k vector stochastic process therefore, it is going to be called it as a k vector stochastic process in which each element is going to be a one dimensional random variable for fixed t. So, the collection that the, the k triple values stochastic process is going to be called it as a k vector stochastic process. Similarly, you can go for based on the capital T what is the name of the stochastic process for different values of t. That means, uh, if it is going to take the value countably finite or countably infinite or it is going to take uh, uh, only the integers values, then we say it is a discrete parameter stochastic process or we can there is another name it is called the stochastic sequence also. Whenever the possible values of a capital T is going to be a countably finite or countably infinite, then we call the corresponding stochastic process as a stochastic sequence or a, it is a discrete parameter stochastic process. Otherwise, if it takes a uh, uncountably many values in the capital T, then it is going to be called it as a continuous parameter and uh, it is uh, or it is going to be called it as a stochastic process itself. Therefore, based on the discretize, it uses the word sequence or if it is going to be a uncountably many values of capital T, then it is going to be called it as a stochastic process. So, based on the classification, I can go for making a one table in which the possible values of E s will take a column and the possible values of a capital T will take a row. So, either it could be a either it could be a countably finite or countably infinite that I uses the word a discrete. If uh, the possible values of t is going to be uncountably many, either it is set of all intervals or it will be a whole uh, real line itself or it is going to be a union of many intervals. In that case, it is going to be called it as a continuous continuous a parameter. Similarly, if the possible values of S is going to be a countably finite or countably infinite, then the state space is going to be called as a discrete. Similarly, if it is going to be uncountably many values, then it is going to be called as a continuous. So, accordingly you can classify the stochastic process into the four type in which if the t is going to be a discrete as well as s is going to be a discrete, then it is going to be a discrete time. discrete time or discrete parameter both are one and the same. So, discrete time, discrete state stochastic process. Similarly, if the t is a discrete and the state space is continuous, then we can call it as a discrete time continuous state stochastic process. Similarly, this is going to be a continuous time discrete state stochastic process and this is going to be a continuous time continuous 
continuous time, continuous state stochastic process. That means, uh, the based on the possible values of a capital T and the possible values of a capital S, uh, any stochastic process can be classified into the four types in which it is going to be a discrete discrete or continuous continuous or discrete continuous 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 based on the time and the state space. 